Students have been abusing alcohol and trying new drugs to overall enhance their college experience. Whether it's in the classroom or partying, these things have occurred. Well, usually, if, like, say somebody I know that's like not 21 and wants some alcohol, usually, like, say if the, the item's like $10 or $15, they usually give me like 20 25 you know? So, like, I get a little bit out of it and I go to the liquor store, get them what they want, and just bring it back to them. And that was some insight on how underage students get their alcohol without any ID. Not only has alcohol been a problem, but Adderall has been a problem as well. They're pretty dangerous, and you know, I, I, I don't think that you know a lot of users really know what's in them. Um, those are the scary things in terms of like prescription drugs. Uh, you, you probably saw my work on uh, stimulants like Adderall, Ritalin. Yeah. Um, you know, those are really different in collegiate settings, just because a lot of college students use those more for studying. Um, so like not, even though some students will, will abuse Adderall and use it at a party or use it with alcohol to, to party longer, um, most of the time uh, you see prescription stimulant like Adderall abuse, it's, it's for, for academic purposes. That's all for drug alcohol abuse among college students. I'm Greg Miner and you're watching NW News.